Oh, What's up, guys? It's got it's Power Kid, and today I'm bringing you another "What Does Halo 5 Need to Be to, to Be Successful?" episode um, eight, and it is the competitive settings. Cheers. And to be honest, I have to tell you, the topic that I'm going to talk about is extremely relative to the game I'm playing in. Um, there you go. Um, this game you're seeing now is from the new. Um, Proving Grounds playlist, well not new, but you know, when it first came out I wasn't that keen on it, but um, after this gaming session I was fully keen, 16 and 1 on Proving Grounds. Anyway, the topic I'd like to talk about today is the um, topic of uh, competitive settings on Halo 4, uh, Halo 5 sorry, and the reason Halo 4 failed was because there wasn't enough competitive competitions. Now. Um, you know, as you may well or well not know, Microsoft, um, you know that the MOG stops doing Halo tournaments. And that was because Microsoft had a partnership with Virgin Gaming. Now, uh, Virgin Gaming, you know, they did the Global Championships. And that was really the only competition they did. Whereas MOG would have hosted, uh, um, like, seasonal championships, if you know what I mean. Um... So, MLG took away their license, they no longer did any Halo, at all, and um, so that that was obviously a really bad start. And then, after MLG went, the main, the big guns, um, only, um, well, AGL was left, really, and that was the only uh, other sort of distinguished one. However, as you may know, about uh, last year, um, they, the, the main guy messed up and he didn't get the location secure so people had paid in their money and stuff and no one got it back because, well I don't know if they might have got it back but the competition never happened um, so that fell through so Halo 5 must have competitive uh, tournaments and settings now um, it, it, don't call it team throwdown or proving grounds you need to be called something uh, don't ask me what it is going to be called because I, I can't make names for hell but, it needs to be something good, something people will recognise by, yeah? So, uh, it has to have good competitive settings, first of all. No sprint. Arm abilities, pick up only. Decent maps, something that Halo 4 clearly lacks. Off-launch, decent maps. Um, BR starts only, as you can see here, we're playing Slayer BR in Proving Grounds, so that is a BR start only. Um, proper respawn times. Uh, none of this random weapon spawns or instant respawn. No, I don't want that, mate. You want proper uh, three second time on Slayer and five seconds on uh, Ejective. No ordnance, that to be said without saying, really. And then the, the game types, I've put Slayer, CTF and Extraction to be thing off launch. Those are game types off launch. You obviously add new ones as the game uh, progresses as the game more time. Competitions, Microsoft, get your st cut your stupid license with Virgin Gaming. They have done absolutely nothing. They've one tournament out of the whole year and a half cycle of Halo 4, one tournament. And let's face it, MLG would have done four per year. So you're you're looking at probably six by now, and proper tournaments where lots of good people would compete in. You know. Um, also, uh, what was I going to say, yeah, get rid of your license, get MLG back, and the reason I want this back so badly is because it makes the community thrive, people come out and talk, like, after the championships, um, it was a bit of this, like, people were like, oh man, did you see Ace versus I got your pistola in the final, dude, that was insane, and it was, and it brought people together through, like, people were like, damn, did you, did you see that, that was insane, wasn't it, that was a great, that was a great competition. I wish they did more or something like that, you know. But with MLG, they will do more. If you get MLG back, they will put a lot more competitions and none of this global championship stuff. Proper LAN network gaming, uh, exposed arena, and I'll be honest, if this happens, Halo 5 will be insane. I genuinely think that c competitive settings can make or break a game. Titanfall needs competitive settings, as we know. Um, I think they've just implemented an update to uh, allow competitive. 
but yeah, I obviously feel really passionate about this topic, I don't know if you know, um, but I'd really love to see Halo 5 thrive and succeed um, in the uh, on the, the FPS leaderboard, and to do that, we need competitions, we need competitive settings, we need good good competitive settings, not not just competitive settings, but good competitive settings at that, you know? Anyway guys, um, that's going to be the end of the commentary there. The gameplay, there isn't much long left of it, three kills to win. Um, as you can see, it's f uh, 50 kills, no 50, yeah 50, and I get my second spree of the game. Anyway guys, um, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I have certainly um, enjoyed making it. It's I think this is one of my better ones to be honest. Um, let me know in the comments below how you feel about the competitive settings on Halo 5 and what you want to see. Anyway, I've been Fire Kid and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.